हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम आई एम कलीम खान एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल कलीम टीवी वन सो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दी आवर यूट्यूब चैनल कलीम टीवी वन सो सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड प्रेस दी बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इनफॉरमेटिव वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो वी शैल प्रोवाइड इनफॉरमेशन अबाउट बादशाही मॉस Now we start video. The Badshahi Mosque is a Mughal era congregational mosque in Lahore, capital of the Pakistani province of Punjab. The mosque is located west of Lahore Fort along the outskirts of the wall city of Lahore and is widely considered to be one of Lahore's most iconic landmark. The Badshahi Mosque was constructed by the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb between 1671 and 1673 and was the largest mosque in the world from 1673 to 1986 the mosque is an important example of mughal architecture with an exterior that is decorated with carved red sandstone with marble inlay It remains the largest mosque of the Mughal era and is the third largest mosque in the Pakistan. After the fall of the Mughal Empire, the mosque was used as a garrison by British Empire and it is now one of Pakistan's most iconic sites. The mosque is located adjacent to the wall city of Lahore, Pakistan. The entrance to the mosque lies on the western side of the rectangular Hazuri Bagh and faces the famous Alamgiri Gate of the Lahore Fort which is located on the eastern side of the Hazuri Bagh. The mosque is also located next to the Roshnai Gate, one of the original 13 gates of Lahore. which is located to the southern side of the Hazuri Bagh near the entrance of the mosque lies the tomb of Muhammad Iqbal a poet widely revered in Pakistan as the founder of the Pakistan movement which led to the creation of Pakistan as a homeland for the muslim of british india also located near the mosques Entrance is the tomb of Sir Sikandar Hayat Khan who is credited for playing a major role in preservation and restoration of the mosque. Now history the 6th Mughal emperor Aurangzeb chose Lahore as the site for his new imperial mosque. Aurangzeb unlike the previous emperors was not as major patron of art and architecture and instead focused during much of his reign on various military conquest which added over 3 million square kilometers to the Mughal realm the mosque was built to commemorate Aurangzeb's military campaigns in southern india the particularly against the maratha king shivaji as a symbol of the mosque importance it was built directly across from the lahore fort and its alamgiri gate which was concurrently built by aurangzeb during construction of the mosque the mosque was commissioned in 1671 with construction overseen by the emperor's foster brother and governor of lahore Muzaffar Hussain also known by the name Fidai Khan Koka 
After only two years of construction, the mosque was opened in 1673. On 7 July 1799, the Sikh army of Ranjit Singh took control of Lahore. After the capture of the city, Maharaja Ranjit Singh used it waste courtyard as a stable for his army horses and its 80 hujras as quarters for his soldier and as magazines for military stories. In 1818, he built a marble edifice in the Hazuri Bagh Baradari, which he used as his official royal court of audience. Marble slabs for the Baradari may have been plundered by the Sikh from other monuments in Lahore. In 1839, after his death, construction of a Samadhi in his memory was begun by his son and successor Khadak Singh at a site adjacent to the mosque. During the First Anglo-Sikh War in 1841, Ranjit Singh's son Sher Singh used the mosque large minarets for placement of Zambura or light guns which were used to bombard the supporters of Chandpur who had taken refuge in the besieged Lahore fort. In one of these bombardments, the fort's Diwane arm was destroyed but was subsequently rebuilt in the British era during his time. Henry de la Roche a French cavalry officer employed in the army of Sher Singh also used a tunnel connecting the Badshai Mosque to the Lahore Fort to temporarily store gunpowder. So guys, now British rule. In 1849, the British seized control of Lahore from the Sikh Empire during British Raj, the mosque and the adjoining fort continued to be used as a military garrison. The 80 cells built into the walls surrounding its waste courtyard were demolished by the British after Indian Rebellion of 1857 so as to prevent them from being used for anti-British activities. The cells were replaced by open arcades known as the lawns. Because of increasing Muslim resentments against the use of the mosque as a military garrison, the British set up the Badshai Mosque Authority in 1852 to oversee the restoration and to re-establish it as a place of religious worship. From then onwards, piecemeal repairs was carried out under the supervision of the Badshai Mosque Authority. The buildings was officially handed back to the Muslim community by John Lawrence, who was the Viceroy of India. The building was then re-established as a mosque. In April 1919, after the Amrit Sir Muzakar, a mixed Sikh, Hindu and Muslim crowd of an estimated 25 thousand to thirty five thousand gathered in the mosque courtyard in protest a speech by gandhi was read at the event by khalifa shuja ubdin who would later become speaker of the provincial assembly of the punjab extensive repairs commenced from 1939 onwards renovation was supervised by the architect Nawab Alam Yar Jang Bahadur as Khan was largely credited for extensive restoration to the mosque. He was buried adjacent to the mosque in the Hazuri Bagh. Restoration work began in 1939, continued after the independence of Pakistan, and were completed in 1960 at a total cost of 4.8 million rupees. One of the occasion of Second Islamic Summit held at Lahore on 22 February 1974, 39 head of Muslim states 
offered their Friday prayers in the Badshahi Mosque, including among other Zulfikar Ali Bhutto of Pakistan, Faisal of Saudi Arabia. In 1993, the Badshahi Mosque in a tentative list as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 2000, the marble inlay in the main prayer hall was repaired. In 2008, replacement work on the red sandstone tiles on the mosque large courtyard was begun using red sandstone imported from the original Mughal sources near Jaipur in the Indian state of Rajasthan. Now architecture as a gateway to the west and Persia in particular Lahore had a strong regional style which was heavily influenced by Persian architectural style. Earlier mosques such as the Wazir Khan Mosque were adorned in intricate Kashikari or Kashan style tile work from which the Balshai Mosque would depart. Aurangzeb choice an architectural plan similar to that of Shah Jahan choice are the Jame Masjid in Delhi. Though built the Balshai Mosque on a much larger scale, both mosques feature red sandstone with white marble inlay which is a departure from typical mosque design in Lahore, in which decoration is done by means of intricate tile work. Now, entryway of complex. Entrance to the mosque complex is via a two-story edifice built of red sandstone, which is elaborately decorated with frame and carved paneling on E of its Packages. The edifice features a mukarna and architectural features from the Middle East that were first introduced into Mughal architecture with construction of the nearby and ornate Wazir Khan Mosque. The mosque's gateway faces east toward the Alamgiri Gate of Lahore Fort, which was also commissioned by Aurangzeb. The massive entrance and mosque are situated on a plinth which is ascended by a flight of 22 steps at the mosque main gate which the gateway in itself contains several chambers which are not accessible to the public. Okay guys now thanks for watching.